Extra frigid winter created more than potholes in the roadways. It's put a burden on the poor and the food pantries that help them. Nine on your side's Tony Moronis explains how food pantries are scrounging their supplies to help. This winter has food pantry clients worried about keeping their kids fed. Tammy Brasher is raising a seven and five year old who get lunch and breakfast for free at school. Usually not prepared to give them breakfast and lunch, and they just I just cook them supper and a snack. But this lately this winter they've had to eat at home almost every day. Barbara Clee with Middletown Family Service explained. I think the problem is with all the school closings, they have not gotten the free breakfast and the free lunch, and that's put a greater strain, a financial strain on families. A typical meal when the kids are home is probably some green beans, some fruit for dessert, and obviously some mac and cheese with some sort of meat. And for dinner, you probably already had some canned fruit plans with some pasta and some spaghetti sauce, maybe a little bit of hamburger mixed in. And they're probably going to wash it down with some milk, the very milk that you're now using for breakfast that you hadn't budgeted for. So an entire day, your whole week's milk supply is gone. And they stay hungry as ever. <laughs> That's a 300% increase to a food budget. High heating bills are contributing to the need, and pantries are running low because of it. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side, Middletown.